you notice anything weird with that sequence? Well, by the title, you probably already noticed, but uh, it looks really weird. And it's for a very specific reason, and that's because my shutter speed is obscenely high. Uh, for those of you who would rather crank your shutter speed, this video's for you. So that first little bit was at a super high shutter speed, including that last clip. This one is at a normal speed. And I just cranked my aperture as well as having an ND filter. And as you can see, when I move, it doesn't look as weird. So, ideally, when you're shooting video, you want to have a specific shutter versus frame rate, and it is an important factor when you're shooting, and there are rules to be broken, that is what everybody says, but when you're shooting your video at an extremely high shutter speed versus your frame rate, you lose a lot of that motion blur that comes along with having that lower shutter speed. Uh, we'll get into the technical stuff in a completely different video. So essentially when you're shooting your video at a super high shutter speed, it refreshes way faster and that essentially causes your video to kind of look very smooth but choppy, if that makes sense. And you may have noticed in the first part of the video how I had a sequence of video and it looked a little strange. There was like a weird aspect to it and it was almost because the footage was really smooth. Like I shot in a high frame rate, like 60 frames per second, but for some reason it still had like a, a choppiness to it because I shot at 24 frames per second but a high shutter speed. So when you're out shooting and you don't have an ND filter and you're like, I'll just crank my shutter speed, it will 100% affect the way your image looks. Now. When you're shooting at 24 frames per second, it's going to affect it a lot more than if you're shooting at 60 because 60 frames per second is meant to be slowed down and it's a slow frame rate to be able to put in slow motion. So if you shoot at a really high frame rate, like 60 frames per second, and then you shoot at a high shutter speed, uh, like way over 1 1 25th to what you should be at, it won't look as bad, especially when you slow it down, it'll look pretty normal, but you will still have that like weird smooth choppiness that you saw in the first little bit. And to really prove my point in this video, I've been shooting at different shutter speeds this whole time. Uh, I've been shooting at like 1 4,000th, 1 800th, 1 500th, basically everything but uh, 1 1 25th or 1 50th actually, sorry, uh, that I should be at shooting at 24 frames per second. And hopefully you might have noticed throughout the video it was kind of weird that there was some weirdness going on about it. And the last half of the video here, I will shoot at 24 frames per second to show you kind of what it looks like when you actually shoot at the right frame rate versus shutter speed. Uh, but cranking your shutter speed does make a difference. And I will throughout this video throw in clips of like weddings and stuff that I shot at 60 frames per second or 24, even 120 at the correct shutter speed. And you'll see how smooth and nice and, and great it looks, even the 24 frames with all the motion blur. And and then you'll see this and you'll kind of be able to compare kind of what the non good good um, shutter speed looks like when you're shooting uh, by cranking your shutter. Um, my advice when you are you know, shooting video and it's too bright outside is one, buy an ND filter. I mean, I've had one on right now this whole time because it's even too bright to crank my shutter because my shutter only goes so high in video. And two, if it's still too bright with your ND, just raise your aperture a little bit. It's not going to kill the video to be at like F4 instead of F2 you know, or F2.8 or whatever. Most camera lenses for video shoot at 2.8, mine's at F2 and I often go up my f-stop uh, to f4, f5 if needed at a wedding or something just because it's too bright. I would rather do that than have some weird, funky looking video. Now, most clients won't notice this. It's only something the trained eye would probably see. But if you went to watch a feature film in the movie theater and they didn't use the right shutter speed, you would probably be like, that looks a little strange. There's something going on with that. So I definitely recommend, you know, just getting an ND filter. Um, you can even get a, a bigger, a bigger ND filter that has more stops. Instead of a one to five, get a six to nine stop. And then you'll be able to go even darker or get a matte box where you can just sw sw quickly swap out these filters. So. So, 
all in all, just stop cranking your shutter. Uh, and just get an ND filter. If you're gonna crank your shutter, at least only do it at higher frame rates so it doesn't do anything to your video. I see so many people who are like, yeah, just crank your shutter, I'm team crank shutter, and it's, that's not how you make a video. I mean, there's, there's reasons to do it that way, and this is not one of them when you're just making a normal video. So, when you're making just a straight up video, whether it's a wedding, commercial work, et cetera, I see it mostly with weddings, stop cranking your shutter, just get the right gear, and I promise your videos will be 20 times better, it'll look so good. So, hopefully this was an insightful video. I'll probably be making a follow-up one about this because this was a pretty short one and simple and sweet and I'm trying to get used to filming out in public where there's people watching me, but uh, that's it for today, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.